Hi, this is Cat's Cradle here. I'm going to make this short and sweet. Last night, before I went to bed, I checked spaceweather.com. I usually check it a couple of times a day, mostly because it's just a really interesting site. But secondly, because down here on the left-hand side of their page, again, this is spaceweather.com, they show, they usually give a picture of the sun and they show the sunspots that are facing Earth and now, and they list them like this one's 1263, 12, 1261, 1260, and 1265. So those are all the sunspots uh, that are facing us at the time and those are actually also the ones that harbor energy for uh, uh, X-class solar flares. So that's, you know, that's pretty significant, those four facing us. So I scroll down here, this is the next Check, uh, section I check and it says space weather NOAA forecast and it's updated you know a couple of times a day and it lists the kinds of flare class M and class X class M <coughs> uh, harbors potential to do to do uh, some damage toward uh, our grid but not significant class X is is more significant for the last couple of weeks the potential for a Class X flare in both the 0 to 24 hour category and 24 to 48 hour category has been 1%, so, you know, really low. Well, last night I noticed that uh, class, um, projected Class M flare potential uh, for the next 0 to 24 and 24 to 48 hours was 60%. That's pretty high. Then Class X flare, the potential for that is up to 10%. Okay, so last night I went, and then I always scroll up and check the lead story. Well, the lead story wasn't too significant last night, but this morning, here's what it says. You'll see it right here. Incoming CME. Okay, CME, coronal mass ejection. I'm going to read you what it says. Magnetic fields above spot 1261 erupted this morning at 648 UT, Universal Time, producing an M1 class solar flare. The blast also hurled a bright coronal mass ejection toward the Earth. It shows there was a movie made uh, by a spacecraft that shows the cloud racing away from the sun at almost 900 kilometers per second. Geomagnetic storms are possible when the CME reaches Earth on or about August 5th. Stay tuned for updates. Just wanted to make you aware of that. Down here it shows, it shows sunspot 1263. It's huge. It stretches more than 65,000 uh, kilometers from end to end. Uh, that's wider than the Earth wanted to make you aware there is an incoming CME. Not sure what it'll mean. I'm going to stay posted to this to this site. Uh, probably will not be giving updates on it, but you need to check it yourself and be aware. Cat's Cradle.